like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Reaming my body. Clothing, no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your session. What is going on, guys? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now, in case you guys are wondering, the reason I'm playing this game super passive in the background and I'm actually in a baller in pubs was this is because it was one of my first game back with my new keybinds. And I just really wanted to get a win to get my confidence up because confidence, like I talk about in so many videos, are so, so important. So I highly suggest if you're struggling or you're mad or whatever's happening or you try different keybinds, just play a couple times to win. Bring your confidence up and trust me, you'll feel way, way better as a player and you'll feel way more comfortable using your keybinds. But in today's video, it's going to be an interesting one because a lot of you guys were actually wondering and asking me, you're like, okay, well, I know you got, you said that this is how you got better was playing more, et cetera, et cetera, doing creative 1v1s, blah, blah, blah. Um, but like a lot of people were wondering, well, I only have four, two, three hours to play every single day. What do you think I should spend my time on? How do you think I should split it up, et cetera, et cetera. So basically in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to split up your time efficiently so it works best for you and you have the best chance at improving as a player and probably the quickest way you can improve as a player and split up your time properly. Um, also, I will be back streaming today in case those of you were wondering. My wrist is feeling better, so I'm going to try it out today. Probably not a long stream, probably only like three or four hours. But if you guys want to check it out, make sure you check it out. Link is in the description or you can look up Wraith AM in Twitch. I'd highly, highly appreciate it. Also, we play Storm Wars. Uh, you can ask me questions, whatever, just come chill, whatever the point is. But yeah, that's basically it for this kind of intro. But make sure you slap the like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you can create a code rate the fed in the item shop, and let's get right into today's video. Let's go, boys. So for this example, I'm going to be talking on the premise of saying, let's say you have four hours of gameplay. Like, you can play for four hours, you can play Fortnite for four hours. Now, I feel like that's kind of probably an average amount of time for someone who actually wants to improve because if you can only play for 30 minutes, I'm sorry, but like you're probably not going to get that good no matter what. Uh, but let's just say for four hours you can play. If you can only play for two hours or you can play for six hours or seven hours, just kind of split it accordingly, like kind of do what my general time is and then just either add it or subtract it a little bit more, whatever the case is for your timing. But I'm going to go all four hours. So the first thing you should be working on is 20 minutes of creative for aiming editing and building so 20 minutes each so you should be doing an editing course for 20 minutes like so two basically two of floods editing courses or you can do floods once or you, or uh raiders a couple times or floods once and raiders so kind of depends on your scenario depends on what you want to do i recommend doing 20 minutes of editing every single day to help you just Get better at editing slowly. Obviously, if you're spending three hours a day on editing, you're going to get better way faster. But this is only if you have four hours. So 20 minutes of editing, 20 minutes of aiming. Tw aiming is a huge one. I always talk about this. So either do Kovacs, do Tito's, uh, do whatever kind of aim course works for you, whatever you want to do. There's tons of them out there. Uh, and then 20 minutes is just free building, sticking up with the meta, sticking up with the newest high ground you takes, sticking up with whatever whatever the case is, if you want to practice new 90s, if you want to make sure your 90s are on peak, your side jumps are on peak, whatever the case is, make sure you're doing 20 minutes of free builds just to make sure all your building is good, etc, etc. And then if you feel like you're lacking in one creative, like mechanical kind of the side, if you feel like you're lacking editing or you're lacking aiming, a lot of people will be lacking aiming. But if you feel like that's the case, then basically all you have to do is just kind of minimize the other ones. So say aiming, you want to practice a little bit more then maybe do 30 minutes of aiming and only 15 minutes of editing and building or even 30 minutes of aiming and only 10 minutes of the other two or whatever the case is, right? That doesn't really make sense because that's not a full hour, but hey, whatever, 15 minutes of each. Um, but yeah, basically, if you feel like you need to work on one specifically, then just put a little bit more time into that one than the other ones. But I'd say normally try and keep it to 20, 20, and 20 because you will still notice a little bit of improvement overall. And I'll just make sure that your builds, your edits, and aiming is on par and you're not losing any of the mechanical skill. Now this next one is an hour of Storm Wars or Turtle Wars and the reason I put this one for so long is because I personally think that it's so so important out like Storm Wars as well as Turtle Wars. Turtle Wars basically just helps you with those quick edits. If end game like you need to move quickly, it's not always going to be your builds because there's so many other people's builds there. Uh, etc etc plus you got to make sure your shotgun aim and SMG aim is on point all the time. 
and it's a super super good way to practice make sure your mechanics are clean but something i'd even suggest a little bit more or like i'd suggest doing even more would be turtle or not turtle wars storm wars uh it's just a little more realistic end games or basically if you guys don't know what it is it's basically a moving zone and it's a small little like place that you can follow and there's like 15 or whatever other players in the match 10 other players in the match and then all you do is basically fight against them while the storm's pushing you into the last person survives it's basically like a virtual end game that you can practice we do do them in the twitch in my twitch uh if you guys want to come check it out and play with us it is a really good way to improve and i highly suggest doing them and yeah, so I'd highly suggest doing Storm Wars a ton if you can. Trust me, it will be worth it, as well as Turtle Wars. But if you have the option, definitely do Storm Wars over Turtle Wars. I personally think it's a little bit better and more realistic to the actual game. So I definitely recommend doing this because basically what it is, is it's just like a free end game practice. You know what I mean? Like you're basically doing end game constant. Like instead of just hopping in custom and doing it, surviving for 20 minutes and then dying or whatever the case is or hopping in real only have 10 people this is a 12 person end zone that you're moving you're forced to only have some loot like you only get some of the loot you don't really get like scars or often sometimes you do sometimes you don't so it's super super like a good way of practicing and i highly recommend it now this next one is an hour and 15 of either of sorry of either solo squads arena or customs you can you can kind of break it up how you want to uh, if you feel like you want to practice your solo squad and just dealing with fights in general i recommend doing that if you feel like you need to work on your end game do customs if you feel you want to just work on fighting better players do arena kind of all up to you again it's your decision i recommend kind of split them up, splitting them up throughout the week so for example i'll do two solo squads for 45 minutes each day or an hour and 15 each day and then i'll do two customs and then two or, or two or three arenas whatever the case is kind of depends what you want to do and what you enjoy doing you can split it up evenly or again you can just do straight all seven customs all seven arenas all seven solo squads but i kind of recommend changing things up because you don't want to just be like tom said 72 hours said you don't want to just be practicing one way of doing everything right you want to be practicing multiple ways if you're just doing customs you're not learning how to fight people that generally and if you're just doing solo squads you're not learning end game so i highly recommend doing a little bit of everything because trust me it will be worth it in the long run you don't want to just stick to one thing you can but i highly suggest doing a little bit of all and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is 45 minutes of either vod reviewing yourself or vod reviewing a pro player so for VOD review, I always talk about this. I stress it so much how important it is to VOD review, and I honestly stick by it. Uh, VOD review by yourself is a big thing because basically if you want to figure out what your mistakes you're doing, what you need to capitalize on, is it your aim, is it your decision making, whatever you're doing wrong, figure it out by watching your own VOD reviews. Watch every single time you're dying. What led up to that point of you dying? Like how? What led up to that point? Did you get a bad drop? Uh, did you push a bad fight? Did you take too much damage off the start of the fight? Whatever the case is, right? Figure out what it is and try and f try and fix it, basically, is what I can say. And the only best way you find that is by basically watching your own VODs and figuring out what you're doing wrong. Another thing that I talk about all the time is watching pro players' VODs. And this is a super, super important one. I've been doing this more and more. And basically, just watch a pro player as often as you can. Someone that you kind of find like a better player than you someone you like their play style for example i watch benji fishy and bizzle because i both like their play style a ton well i like both of their play style a ton. that's what i have to say um and i think they're both very very good players in general so i do watch them as much as possible to learn and figure out how they play so i can copy their play style so yeah you can kind of decipher that as much as you want if you want to break it up do like 20 minutes of your own vod review and 25 minutes of just watching pros but if you can watch pros so let's say you can only play fortnite for four hours but you can like go on your phone or whatever and you can watch bizzle on twitch whenever you want or whatever the case is right then i recommend doing just another a little bit more time on playing the customs or playing solos arena or duo arena or whatever the case is that kind of is your time to decide. So if you can spend that 45 minutes, if you feel like you need a little bit more creative, do a little bit more creative. If you feel like you need to do more customs or whatever the case is, right? Do whatever you feel like you need the most practice on for that extra 45 minutes. But I still highly suggest don't just skip out on VOD review. Trust me, it is worth it and it will make you a better player overall. But that's basically it for today's video. Uh, 
again hopefully this helps you guys out if you have any any videos you want to see done by me make sure you leave it in the comments below again i try my best to read and reply to every comment i do read every comment i may not reply to yours but i do try my best honestly i you guys can ask anyone i probably replied in more comments than anyone else on youtube uh but yeah that's basically it for today's video and i'll see you guys all in the next one use creator code in the item shop peace